Welcome to episode 5 in importing and exporting data into CRM in 2011. Importing and exporting data are handy features, particularly if you want to import um, data from a different data source, such as a different CRM system or a contact management system. And exporting data is handy if you want to actually export data because you want to use familiar tools such as Excel to actually clean up data and then re-import it. To import data, we just click on this import data icon at the top here. You'll notice you have two options, import data and download template for, for import. I actually suggest using the download template for import. So we'll click on that and we'll save that just for now to the desktop. And what that does is that'll create a contact.xml um, sheet. And it's just going to open up here and bring it across here. And what you'll see is a blank spreadsheet basically, but it's got predefined um, field headings. And what you'll do is you'll actually then also open up your data source. So let's say for example if you've come from a different um, data source such as ACT and you, and you want to actually map it across to see or export it to CSV, you can just open up your sample data, whatever that may be. And now what we're going to do is we're going to view them side by side. And we're going to copy or cut and paste, or in probably your case, copy and paste the data from one spreadsheet to the other. Surname is last name in, in CRM. Emails. Just expand that. Business phone number. And mobile. Okay. So let's just so that's the sample data. No, we don't want that. What we want is just to make sure that the contact data is in there. Fantastic. So contact data is in there. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to our CRM and we're going to import that data. So let's go back to the import data icon, click on import data, we'll browse to that uh, contact.xml file, and it's there, click on open, next, map those fields, yes, do we want any duplicates, no, do we want to change the owner, no, it says congratulations. Your data has been submitted for import. Excellent. Now, that doesn't mean that's already in there, it just means it's been submitted. So now we go to the imports uh, tab here on the left hand side. And as we can see, as it said, it's been submitted. So we'll just refresh this. And it's, it's going to take a little bit of time. So, I mean, this one's only eight entries, but if you've got hundreds or thousands of entries, I'd suggest you do this after hours. Now, while that is uh, happening, I might just quickly go back to my contact.xml so I know what, what to check. And we'll just refresh that. It's still submitted. So you'll find it does take between, you know, for something like this, eight entries will be about a minute or so. Obviously, if you've got hundreds or thousands, it could take several hours. So it's now passing. Which means it's not too far away, which is good. She's now transforming. Let's just quickly have a look at some of the entries I might check. Craig White, uh, William Spencer. There's, there's a couple that I can check. Transforming. And now it's complete. Now you notice there's eight successes, which is great. Um, you may have issues with, you know, if you see numbers here in terms of partial failures, errors, it's something you need to look at. It's not going to import if you've got that. Um, a common problem I should add whilst, uh, you know, I'm, I'm covering this off, is that you will get errors if you try to import contacts, as we just did, with account details. So if you put in Joe Blow from ANZ Bank as an example, um, there is no 
or unless unless you've already got in there but a lot of times there won't be an ANZ bank in there so you've actually got to then import accounts first and then contacts so just a little note to yourself it's a common problem so as we said before Craig White there he is excellent the other one we wanted to check was William Spencer as, and there he is again Another way you can check if you wanted to, if you remember from a previous episode where we covered off Advanced Find, is to go into Advanced Find up there, click on Contacts, select Created On, and we'll say Today. It'll give me results, and there you go. There is all the imports that was created today. If we just check that against the the names we entered in there today, that's excellent. So that's it for importing and exporting data. Um, as I said to you before, it's an excellent way to bring in um, data or to even to export data, clean it up in Excel or, or your preferred method, whether it be um, SQL or X Excel. Um, most commonly for the end users, Excel is a pretty easy way to do that and you can even export that out to um, pivot tables and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, very, very handy for cleaning up data, bringing in data, etc. So hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helped you with importing and exporting data into CRM 2011. Look forward to bringing you some more informational videos. If you have any specific questions, feel free to ask XRM Solutions by emailing us at xrm at xrmsolutions.com.au. Thanks until next time. I hope you enjoy familiarizing yourself with CRM 2011.